Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make my little toy soldier. Um, I thought with, with Christmas and the Nutcracker Suite and all of that sort of jazz, it would be a good idea to do a toy soldier. So, the colours you're going to need are black and gold. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Champagne Gold. Two little pink bands, red, navy blue and white. I'm also using the Mini Pony Beads. They're a 7mm by 4mm. For his eyes. If you don't have that, that's fine. Um, you can just use bands. Um, I will apologise right from the word go. I have a horrible, horrible cold and my throat is, um, is uh, my, my voice is going and uh, I sound awful. So I do apologise in advance. Um, but if you can bear with me, we can, we can get through this together. So we're going to do this in two parts. We're doing his head and his hat first. Then we're going to take that off and we'll do his body and attach his head to him. All right, so single loom in the offset configuration. Columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. The open part of the peg is facing towards us or the arrow is facing towards us. And we're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands at the same time and place them on the pegs together as if they were one. And so we're going to start by doing his hat. I'll just move him up the up the top there. We're going to come down here with five pair down the center to start with. Two, three, four, and five. And then on the side, two. A few more black bands. And this has got quite a bit of detail in it, so uh, bear with me on that. Oh, that's a funny looking band, isn't it? I think we'll get rid of that one. <laughs> Now, at the top here, we're going to have this little sort of um, emblemy thing up there. I don't really know what it's called. So we're going to use gold. I'm going to take a single band. I'm going to stretch it. Now, these whoops, these gold bands are quite tight. Um, they're silicon, so they don't stretch as far as you can see. So I'm going to put one here. Stretch again and put one under it. I'm going to put one here beside it. I'm going to put an end cap on the end, so I'm going to take a single and wrap it once and twice. I'm just going to pop that on the end here, like that. Now what I'm going to do, dig down past the end cap and grab that looped over gold band and loop it up to the side here. Then you're going to loop this one up and this one up. Take this off your loom and put it on top of the other one. We're going to take a single black band, loop it through, and this is what we're going to take it off the loom with. Gently does it, because there's a lot of bands there, they're tight, almost looks like a little crown, okay? And we're going to place that over these three pegs here. So the first bit is going to go here, you're going to then put the second bit over here, but this bit, instead of just sitting between the two, we're going to lift up and have that perch on top of this peg here. All right. Now, in saying that, we're still going to have to have um, a crossover band here as well. So I'm just going to pop that underneath it like that so that we've still got our crossover band in place there. And pretty that up a bit. Okay, so after that crossover band, we're going to have a crossover band here. So that's our second one. And we're going to have a crossover band here. Now, at this point, we're going to still continue down a little bit further with some black bands. We're going to go another one this side. And another one this side. Now, we've got one, two, and three of our crossover bands. At this point here, we're going to start with a single 
gold band going across to the left, a single gold band going across to the right, and a gold band as an end cap, a single, wrap it once and twice. And that's going to sit here. Okay, now the hat will actually finish at this point, but we're doing the back of his head as well. Okay, so what we need to do is another black band here. Okay, and I need a few more black bands. So we've got this one here, we've got this one here, we've got another black band here. And here, and this is the back of his head. Okay, so we're going to do another pair from across to here, and another pair across to here. We're going to use red bands for the neck because he's not showing any neck, he's wearing the uniform. So that's going to go like that, and we're going to take a single and put it here, wrap it once and twice, and that will pop just here. We need some more black bands as our crossovers. So one here and one here. And I am going to put one here as well. Alright, so from this gold peg we've got one, two, three and four. So we're going to dig down past this end cap and grab those two bottom red bands and loop up. Push those back down. Take the top two black bands, just the top two, I'm using the wrong hook, let me try that again, just the top two, loop to their corresponding side, like that, and then you're going to loop up once and twice in the centre. Now on the sides normally we only do once, but again this time we're going once and twice once and twice. Now we're going to re be ready to lay the skin for the face. From your gold you're going to skip one peg so you're coming down to this peg here and placing that first skin tone band pair and underneath it and then you're going above so here again you're just skipping down one either side and we're working in pairs you're going to do two from here to here oopsie two from here to here we're using red for the neck as I mentioned earlier push this down now I'm going to take at this point here I'm going to grab these bands that are under the red band and they're still red and loop them up. That links the back of the head into the front of the face. I'm going to put an end cap here in red, wrap it once and twice, it's a single band and pop that right there. Okay, So that, that secures this into place. I'm going to take two red bands and go to the side and put an end cap on once and twice, pop that end cap on, the same on the other side and put an end cap on, a single band once and twice, and pop that on. Now for our crossover band for the face we need to put our two cheeks on, so a single pink, wrap it once and twice, another single pink, wrap it once and twice and you're going to slide those onto a skin tone band just as if we were doing eyes okay stick one side there and the other side on the corresponding peg the other side of it and you're going to lift this top part over like that and you can twist these little bands around so that they are um, evenly spaced like that. To do the eyes we're going to take a single band, twist it once, twice and three times and place across these two pegs here. 
and I'm threading my beads on. Now, if you don't have beads, you can use black bands and do exactly the same here. Don't wrap it round twice, wrap it round three times. So single black band, wrap it once, twice, three times. That's the same as one black band, a bead. So you do two of them and then you slide them onto a single skin tone band. Stretch across these two pegs and split the band so that one part goes above the peg and the other stays below. Push it all down. Okay. I believe we're ready to start going a bit loopy. We will dig down past this end cap and grab the two red bands, loop to the center. Dig down past the two red bands and loop to the center. And again, dig down past the end cap, grab the two bands and loop to the center. We're now gonna do these side bands. So we have to figure out which one is on top. In my case, it is these two. So you have to dig down past all those red bands and find the two top skin tone and loop them to the side and the same for the other side. And make sure you're just grabbing the two top like that. Then you go back down for those bottom two and again make sure you're just getting the skin tone bands you don't want to grab any of the red bands it's even better to do it one at a time and make sure you're getting it right there we go like that these middle ones can come up and these ones can come up make sure you're pushing the crossover bands back with the back of your hook you don't want those to be included in this looping up See how I'm pushing it back with my hook. Or trying to. <laughs> there we go. Loop up. At this stage, what we're going to do is do his little strap that holds his hat onto his chin. And we want that to go about here. So we're going to push our hook through this center peg here, all the way out the side. Okay, grab a single black band. Now you're going to twist your hook so that the back side of your hook goes against these bands and doesn't snag anything. Pull it through. You've got one, one side holding on, the other side is here on this, this side, the left, and hang on to it. You're going to grab another single and we're going to do a little chain. So here's one, that's number two, three, four, and five all right so you've done this little chain coming out here for five and you're going to place that up here on this peg and you haven't looped this in yet okay so it's going there you're going to do the same on the other side so again dig your hook through go poke it out the side here you've got all those red bands there poke it out the side grab that twist your hook around so that the hook part doesn't snag any of those red bands and you're coming out the side here and we're going to do five or four more because you've got one there already so this is number two three four and five and that one goes up here on this one okay we're now going to loop these ones in make sure that you're just getting the two skin tone bands you don't want to get the the bands for the eyes okay so loop those up this center one goes up and then these two side ones here one make sure you're pushing that crossover band back with the back of your hook now we have a cross we have a um, end cap in here we want to go past the end cap to the top gold band which in my case is the one on the right loop it to the right then do the same for the one on the left or vice versa for whichever way you've done it now you have to go through that end cap and grab the black band and drag it up and loop it up so you have to go through that okay that's important dig down loop up loop up now we're looping these two sides 
to the top here. And one, two, then up to the top here. And this one can go to here. We'll do this one in a second. Now, at this point, we have, if you see, it flares out just a little bit at the top. So we're going to take two bands. You're going in, not this first peg, at the top, the second one. Dig your hook through and out the side. Grab the bands, pull it out here. You're going to take another pair and loop them in like that. Now, they can just sit on top like that if you want. If you want them to be prettier, what I tend to do is take, take a step back. Take a step back. Instead of looping these all the way up, if you want, what you can do, put them back here like this. I think it looks better because I like it that it's it's trapped between them so it looks more natural. So what I would do, take the two, when you put your hook through, go make sure you push past that, that crossover band and you're coming out the side here. You're not going on these two bands at the top. Alright, so you just grab your two bands on the end of your hook. Again, twist it so you don't snag anything and you have them like that. Grab your next two, loop them through, and attach those both here, and then loop up. It just looks prettier to me. It doesn't. It, if you've done it the other way, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't really make a difference. Push your crossovers back. Loop another pair in, reclaim, put them on here, and then loop up those two like that. Now, for this one, you need to splay it open like that. See how I've splayed that open? So that this can pop through the center like that. It can be fiddled with after the fact. Dig down, find those two bottom bands, loop to the center, loop to the center, and then you need two black bands to tie off with. So poke your hook down the center, pull back to the back end of that peg, and tie off in a slip knot. I use the back of a hook and ease this off gently. As I said, you can just pull this out, pretty it up, pull it out and straighten it. Take these little red loops off. Gently ease his little head off. And there you have, you pull these little side bits out. Like so, this comes up and out. There we go, stretch him into shape. I'm gonna hide these tie off bands at the back. I'm just going to slide through some of these bands at the back, grab them and pull them through. And hide them as best I can, like that. Okay. So this is his little hat, as I said. And just stretch these bands out so that they are even Evened up a bit. There we go. So that's his little head and his little hat. 
All right. Now, if, if that's just all you want, that's fine. That could be a little uh, little ornament on your tree as it is, really. Just a little soldier head, can't it? So that, that's fine. But I think it's nicer when it's attached to a little body. So let's do that now. You can pull his cheeks out as well if they're a bit too hidden. Just put your hook in and just gently twist it around. Bring them to the front a bit. There we go. Like that. There's his little rosy cheeks. And mine are a bit crooked, but you can straighten them up. I won't waste a lot of time. There you go. Okay, so let's do his body. The first thing we're going to do is change the shape of our loom. We're going to take this center peg and move it so that it is one below like that. Okay, so it's a little bit of a different shape than what we're used to. And we're going to start by putting two red here and two red here. Okay, that's important because that's how we're going to attach his head to these. We're doing some red bands for his jacket and we're coming down let me see here one two three four five which is one longer than we would normally do for a torso okay and the same on the other side move his head out of the way a bit <laughs> Actually, let's put his head on. Let's put that centre one on. Let's put his head on and get it out of the way. So, you had these three little end caps here. One, two, and three. Each one is going to go on a peg. So, number one, number two, and number three. Just like that. Okay? It almost looks like whiskers doesn't it it's not whiskers okay so we have his head attached let's carry on with our jacket oops you'd be glad to know that the head and the hat is the hardest part I'm going to use navy blue for his trousers. We're just doing one pair and two pair on either side. Put the rest of them back. Black bands, one pair and two pair either side. Now, at this point, what we want to do is put um, the groin of his trousers in. So we're going to take another two, plonk, plonk those there, two from the center up, two from the center to the left. We're going to have to put an end cap here, single band, have it once and twice, pop that here. We are going to need one more crossover band right there. Okay. Now let's put some gold in. We're going to take a single gold and do a figure eight on our hook and pop that right there. Do the next one. Pop that right there. And this one. And we'll pop that right there. On these three, we're going to do black. And we're going to make it a thick black belt. So take a single, figure eight, and we're going to pop the first one here. And we're going to do another one on top of it. Like that. And then we're going to put one here. Now for this, I'm going to release, release the holes. I'm going to release that crossover band because we, we need to do some fancy footwork there. 
figure eight. Now the reason I'm doing it on my hook and not stretching it with my fingers is if I did it on my fingers I would stretch it beyond belief. Um, and I, I don't want that. I want it to be as tight as possible really. So in order to do that I'm just going to do that this way. Put that one there. And oopsie. Come here. <laughs> that one there. All right. For his shoes or his boots, I should say. Take two black bands, wrap around your hook once and twice, slide onto two black bands. Now if you have problems with my shoes there is a tips and tricks video and it shows you close up and slowly how to do these. So don't reclaim, take another pair, wrap once and twice and now you're going to reclaim those bands like that so that that's trapped in the middle. Take another two and we will slide on. Everybody has been asking me when I'm going to finish doing some other How to Loom Your Dragon characters. And my stock answer has been, and nobody seems to listen to me, when I've finished all the Christmas things I need to do. So please don't be asking me about How to Loom Your Dragon until after Christmas. Take another two, one and two, slide on to two. Don't reclaim just yet. One and two, and now you can reclaim. Now that that's in the center, take another two, and we'll slide these on. Again, I like to do the first two. Then I slide the wrapped bands on. Pretty them up, and then the next two. And reclaim, angle the foot, put it on the end of the next leg, like that. For the shoulders and the arms, we're going to do some little white gloves. So a single white band, wrap it once and twice and slide onto a pair of white bands. And then we're going to take a gold band and a red band together and slide on like that. And then three pair of red. So that's one pair, two pair, and three pair. Now, before I put this on, I want to do these little gold bits and I want them under the arm, okay? So I'm going to take, I'm going to leave my arm on here. I'm going to take a single gold band, wrap it once and twice, and I'm going to slide onto a pair of gold bands like that, okay? And I want this to go underneath. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this part of the head up, just that one, and I'm going to put one side of these gold bands on like that. I'm going to replace the bands for the head. I'm going to put my arm on, and then I'm going to put the other two loops from the little gold shoulder on like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Single band, wrap once and twice, slide onto a pair of gold. I'm going to take the head off. I'm going to put one side of the gold bands on like this. Make sure I don't lose the other end. Replace the head, the, the end cap for the head, make my little hand a single, wrap it once and twice, slide onto a pair of white bands, 
Now we need a pair, which is an odd pair. It's going to be one gold and one red. And then a pair of red. And another pair of red. So you've got five in total, five pair. You've got one for the white, one for the red and gold. That's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to put the little arm on and then reattach that little gold loop that's sitting there doing nothing for the minute. The shoulder. Pop that into place like that. And we should be ready to start looping up. We're going to go down past the foot and loop up the two black bands first. Up to the navy, the navy. Now we're going down past that end cap to grab those two red bands and loop them to the side. The same for the other side. Dig down past these to grab these two red ones and loop them up. Now, these ones, what you're going to do, you need to grab your hook and go under here to grab those gold bands and flip them forward like that. And these are buttons on his, uh, in his little uh, suit. Okay? And we'll loop up and again grab these black bands and these are his his belt and the other side there we go push it up a bit I'm going to dig down here and grab the red bands and again And pull these down. Now, this is where our crossover band is. So what we need to do is lift these two up, grab the crossover band. Now, if you remember, the crossover band was doubled on itself. So it was a tighter crossover band so let's see if we can make sure we get both sides of it there we go loop that in and put your band back we're going to do the same this side so lift those two up grab the crossover band pull it back and then put that back on okay loop this up See if we can grab the gold for the button. Whoops, let's put that back. And we lost a band at the same time. That wasn't very clever. Okay, let's try that again. You're going under those red bands to grab the gold, pulling them around and forward. We'll do the same for the next one above it. Under the red bands, grab the gold, pull it round and forward. Now, at this point, you're going to dig down. I want the gold bands to go on top, so I'm going to lift the gold bands up loop up my red and place my gold bands on top like that 
and do the same this side. Lift up my gold bands, hold them out, loop up my red, replace the gold, and now I'll tie these in because we've got these two bands. There's two bands here and two bands here, and you're sort of having to loop them down. So to do that, dig down, find the bands in question, and it gets a bit tricky. There they are, all the way down there. Grab them, make sure those gold bands stay in place. Pull it up and then pull it down. And likewise, I want the, them to go under the center band. So I'm going to lift that up and put it back. Do the same this side. Grab those two bands and like I said, pull it up and then down. It makes it easier. Lift this center one up, place the band, and put it in place. Now, this is the tricky part. You thought the rest was tricky. I'm going to take a shoulder off to help me. Because this center peg here, get off arms. This center peg here is where we want to tie off at. So I've poked my hook down the center and out the side here. And I'm going to grab two red bands and I'm going to put them on the end of my hook here. And I'm going to twist my hook so that the back side of my hook goes against, and I've pulled them through like this. Okay. I'm going to put the back bands on the peg that I released the shoulder from. They're sitting there. I'm going to take these two, the front bands, and I've taken my hook out. Okay. I'm I have those two in the front on my finger. I'm going to lift this head up and poke my hook through from the back to the front in that center area and pop those two bands on my hook and I want to drag them through to the back side. Something's trapping me. Oh, there we go. I'm dragging those two bands to the back side and I'm going to pop them on that peg just for the moment. Okay, so all those tie-off bands are both on here. I'm going to take the bottom one over the top and put those top ones that are left on that hook, on that peg, on my hook. Okay, and that is my tie-off band, like that. And I'm just going to ease this little dude off my loom. I can take that hook out. Stretch him into shape. Pull his buttons up a bit. I do the arms up and out, up and out. Again, if you need to fiddle with his cheeks so that they don't look like they're twisted on each other, take the time to do that. Angle his feet correctly. Now the tie-off bands at the back here, I just put my hook through the back and gently hide them behind some of these bands. You can even put them behind these uh, gold bands here that you have. Just loop them through like this. But there you see. 
You're a little toy soldier. In all his glory. I really hope you enjoy making him. Take care. Bye-bye.